alleged ISIS militant admitting to his involvement in the torture and killing of four American hostages, including a journalist from South Florida. Local 10, Janine Stamwood is live now in Pinecrest with what happened in federal court today. Janine. Stephen Sotloff's parents who live here in Pinecrest have long said that their son's murderer should face a judge in an American courtroom tonight. Alexander Cote pleaded guilty to all eight counts against him. Seven years after Stephen Sotloff, a journalist from Pinecrest was kidnapped and beheaded at the hands of ISIS militants in Syria. One of those alleged terrorists entered this guilty plea in federal court late Thursday. Alexander Cote, the man in blue, admitting to playing a role in the kidnapping and deaths of Sotloff and several others. Cote and three other former British citizens were often called the Beatles by their hostages because of their English accents. This is what an assistant attorney general said about the crimes last year. Forced witnessing of murders, mock executions, shocks via electric taser, beatings, amongst other brutal acts. Sotloff was a dedicated reporter telling the stories of the humanitarian crisis in Syria. His parents had penned editorials demanding justice for his murder, wanting to know the full truth about what happened. And according to the Washington Post, Sotloff's parents were in that courtroom in Northern Virginia tonight. They were apparently taking notes and very emotional, we're told. Another accused militant is now also awaiting trial. We're in Pinecrest. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. All right, Janine, thank you.